Hey guys, we're back with a quick little video. Well, I always say they're quick little videos, but they're not exactly that quick sometimes. Anyhow, had a guy here today that was teaching and uh, showing some different things. And he was asking me about the key. Like, could we map that to something so we could use it? I'm like, sure, why not? So, I picked the filter knobs. So I go shift. Hard to do with one hand. So yeah, anyways, I don't really know why you'd want to adjust the key of the song. I guess, you know, you could be creative and there's, you could do like build-ups with it and uh, so the song sounds like it's getting faster when really it's not getting any faster. There's some things you could do. But anyways, so that's just the idea, but I'm going to show you the practical, how you actually map that. Because it does use a shift modifier, that shift modifier seems to confuse some people. So right off the bat, you want to go into your controller manager, you're going to select your tractor S4, the default. And as you can see, I already have some things here. So I'm just going to go through and show you what I did here. So the shift modifier, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to delete it, and I'm just going to do it again. So, initially I'm adding in and I'm telling this thing to make a modifier and I'm going to use modifier 8 because the other ones might be used for something else, I don't know. So I tell modifier 8, I want the modifier button. So I'm telling this shift button, when I hold that, along in this with something else, it's going to do something different, right? So I don't want to override the mapping because I want the shift button to do what it does. And I want that to be a hold button. And I want that when I hold it, B1. Okay. So obviously I want my other shift button on the other side to do the same thing. So I go over here, I go duplicate. And we're gonna duplicate it, duplicate. <laughs> what a strange word. And I'm gonna go learn on this side instead. So it says right shift. Hold one, everything's exactly how I want it to be. So then, key adjust. So I'm going to delete that one so we can go through it all over again. So we have our two, our two modifiers for two shift buttons. We add in deck common, and nope, it's under track deck. So key adjust. So we're going to learn. We're going to learn. This one right here, start off with A. It says A filter, we do device assignment is to deck A. We don't want to override the map. Or actually maybe we do want to override the map for this one. Hold on, we're going to see how that works. So we know it's a modifier of 8. Was that modifier? And the idea is when it's a 1, it's going to actually do this stuff. Quick way to test everything out is to uh, move the window around if you can. If I can get this mouse to click, come on, you son of a bitch. <laughs> like seriously, it's been one of those days, man, honest to God. Take off the learn, and then literally give it a try. Shift, I hold my shift button down, my key is moving. So we're good. If I don't override that, and I do the shift, what I'm doing at that point is I'm controlling my key and my filter at the same time. Let's see how that sounds, just for the, the hell of it. So there's just my filter. Filter and key. Obviously, I don't want to do both. But if you're creative and you want to map it with something else, that's how you would do it. So, let's move this thing over here. Sorry, there's Skrillex, we're gonna shut you down for a second. Sorry guys, I uh, pushed the button on the phone here and pause me for a second.
Okay, enough of that. So, back to key adjust. So, we know that works for that one, right? So, it's very simple. I'm going to make the screen a little... Drag it over here. I don't need it to be that big. Let's get it over here. So, obviously, I want to do that same thing to the other filter knobs so I can control other decks, right? So I'm just going to do the second one because we don't need it to do all four right now. So I'm going to duplicate that one. I go to learn. I'm going to hit this one here and turn it. It says that's the B filter. Assignment is going to be deck B. We're not override. We want to override the map. Modifier is one. Eight. Value of one. It's going to work. So when you do any of this stuff, anytime you program anything, when you shut it down, it's going to remember. But just X in this one here, we'll do very, we're going to go to edit, and we're going to export that one right there. And I can call it test. Test 45. Why 45? I haven't a goddamn clue. If I can find my mouse pointer, that's the problem. Dual screens, looking through a phone, it's a bitch. So obviously that's in there. If I ever lost it, I would do the same thing. I would go into add, I'd go to import, and then find that file that I just saved. Pretty simple shit. Um, Come on. So now that that's shut down, we're kind of focused here. Or if I hold shift and this knob here, and we're controlling the key there. As you can see, I'm holding shift, I'm turning it. That's it, man. That's as simple as a shift modifier goes. So you can use that, for instance, let's say you want to make that a different filter, like an LFO filter in effect. You could program that so it's a regular filter, and then when you hold shift, you can make it an LFO filter, a pulse filter, a flange. Shit, make it whatever you want to make it. Maybe one of these days I'll do a video showing that exact stuff, but hopefully that's enough to kind of get you through. Uh, those are the F1 pads. That was Skrillex. I'm your tractor specialist. I will see you guys later.